What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so not miss future videos. JEPQ, it is officially on M1 Finance. And I'm going to go over these guys a little bit. And I'm going to explain why I like this. I, I like Jeppy, I like Devo, I like Newsy, but this is one I need to somehow integrate it with my M1 Finance Dividend portfolio. It's too attractive to say no to. Somehow I'm going to add it. It's I like the monthly dividends. I like the dividend distribution of these guys. I'm going to explain to you why it's just so attractive. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check this out right now. So JEPQ, JP Morgan NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF. It's a very interesting ETF. And it is now on M1 Finance. So I have some decisions to make. I have QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD. Somehow I need to integrate these guys into my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. It's too attractive to say no to. So I'm going to go over these guys briefly. And this is just so attractive right now. Uh, I, I can't say no. So eventually I'm going to be buying it within the next month or so. But it's just so good. So let's check these guys out. So on the JP Morgan website, it's designed to provide current income while maintaining prospects for capital appreciation. Generates income through a combination of selling options and investing in the U.S. large cap growth stocks, seeking to deliver a monthly income stream from associated option premiums and stock dividends. Seeks to deliver a significant portion of returns associated with the NASDAQ 100 index with less volatility. Constructs a large equity portfolio through a proprietary data science driven investment approach designed to drive portfolio allocations while maximizing risk adjusted expected returns. So here's their investment process. So, okay, out of the month, money call options designed to generate income and give investors a portion of upside with reduced volatility. Well-represented, fundamentally driven NASDAQ 100 strategy that seeks to provide clients with monthly distributable income via options, premium, and dividends. Credit replacement, its role in, the, in a portfolio, utilized for balancing income with prospects of capital appreciation. Diversified quality, uh, excuse me, equity solution for investors wanting more equity exposure with lower risk. So... There's a few things that we need to look at. So here's the yield. Here's the dividend yield. It's it's high, okay? But we need to look at a few things with Jeppy. So let's look at their portfolio. They have some pretty good assets. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon. So Apple's 10%, Microsoft's 8%, Alphabet, or AKA Google, 6.38%. Amazon is 5.88%. Tesla, 3.61%. The, sec the sector exposure communication is 12.4%. Consumer discretionary is 13.9%. Consumer staples, 5.2%. Financials, 1.3%. Healthcare, 5.6%. Industrials, 3.2%. And information technology, 39.6%. So this is the important thing that we need to look at. So anytime you look at an ETF, okay, you need to see expenses. So right here, 0.35%. Right here. So that's not bad. That's way less than QYLD. Now let's go over the dividends and capital gains. So again, these guys are kind of new on the block. So the good thing is you're getting, it appears to be a window, let's just say 37 cents to 54 cents. So 54 cents is pretty good for 45.94. So again, I don't know if it's going to always be like this. This is very new. But the way things are set up with these guys, you got Jeppy and JEPQ, -E these guys are really good as a monthly dividend ETF. And you know, the thing is, and I'll go over their portfolio just a little bit more. And they have a lot of assets. So I just want to and I don't think is enough to show you guys. So Meta Platforms right here, 2.40%. NVIDIA, Cisco, Advanced Micro Devices, J, uh, JP Morgan right there. Uh, the JP Morgan U.S. Government Market Fund. 
uh, the Comcast right there, CMCSA, uh, Costco, you have Qualcomm, uh, PayPal, Analog, Synopsis, Broadcom. So they have some really good Excel Energy, Regeneron, uh, Texas Instruments, Pepsi, Mandela's, T-Mobile, uh, Netflix, Nextera Energy, Coca-Cola. Uh, they got some of the semiconductors. So diversification is important for my dividend portfolio. And this is why I'm adding these guys. And then you look at QYLD, which kind of does the covered calls. But this, this is a little bit more specific, a little bit more powerful. And, you know, the di dividend distribution is, is pretty attractive as well. So, again, I have a goal to make 1000 to $3,000 a month on my monthly dividends and 2000 to $4,000 a month on my quarterly dividends. And each month, I'm receiving a dividend from JP Morgan. And I just wanted to do a brief overview. I'm very attracted with these guys. I'm somehow going to add them to my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. I'm going to probably have to change a percentage a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to go a little bit in depth with the other stuff with my M1 Finance dividend portfolio, specifically for September and certain stocks. Um, I'm going to probably do a series on September, uh, either this week or next week. I'm going to, well, let's do maybe in the next two weeks. I want to go over that specifically and switch things up because I do reviews on dividend stocks. But these guys and a few other things are what make things very interesting with my M1 finance dividend portfolio and, and adapting and making changes is very important as well to my M1 finance dividend portfolio. As you saw, I sold BGS and threw it into Flowers Foods. I'm getting good dividend hikes from Flowers Foods. VC Properties is doing good dividend hikes. So I just need to switch things up and I need to add these guys to my M1 finance dividend portfolio. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. Make sure you smash that like button. I wanted to be very brief and a little bit in depth with JP Morgan, JEPQ, the JP Morgan NASDAQ equity premium income ETF. Let me know what you think of my review. Was it a little too broad? I wanted to be a little bit more specific going over expense ratios, going over the passive income, why I like these guys. And again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. I do not pump stocks. I do not believe in doing that. I'm just showing you what I like about these dividend stocks and these dividend income ETFs. You guys take care and have a great Friday.